The world is obsessed with fad diets and weight loss. With a whopping two-thirds of all Australians now overweight or obese, you'd think everyone would know the answer to the most obvious weight loss question of all. When you burn fat, where does it go? Oh God, that's a good question. Burns up, maybe through your sweat. Down the toilet, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know, I guess. I don't know, I don't lose weight. I would think it's just, just air. Maybe you pee it out. Last year, I lost a little bit of weight myself, which got me thinking, what was I actually losing? What did it become? And most importantly, where did it go? Biochemistry students learn all about what happens during weight loss during their undergraduate studies at university. It's an essential part of their training. Hello class. Hi, Hi Ruben. Ready to metabolise some fat? Yes! Let's do it. These students at the University of New South Wales know exactly how your body burns fat, right down to the last molecule. So Andrew, these are your students and they've just basically written up what happens to fat when you lose weight. Can you talk us through what's going on here? Sure. What we start off with is mobilisation of fat. So fat is stored away as triglyceride in our fat cells. And then we have the breaking of that fat into its constituents. Whoa there, Professor. This is really interesting, but let's slow it down a bit. This tangled web of chemical equations is the process your body goes through every time you lose weight. It's super complicated, but I'm going to make it a little easier for you. See this? It's a fat molecule. It's the average human fat molecule. And like all fat molecules, it's made of just three elements. Carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. It contains 55 carbon atoms, 104 hydrogen atoms and 6 oxygen atoms. C55, H104, O6. To lose just one of these molecules, you have to inhale 78 molecules of oxygen. And then, via this amazing chemical process, you'll convert this molecule into 55 molecules of carbon dioxide, or CO2, and 52 molecules of water, H2O. The atoms haven't ceased to exist, they've just changed into something new. So that's the chemical process that burns fat and releases energy in your body. But where does the mass actually go? Can you guys show me where's the mass in this whole thing? Like where are the kilograms as opposed to the kilojoules? You've got two carbon dioxides formed here and we have water over here. Okay, so let me ask you this. If I start with 10 kilograms of this stuff, how many kilograms do I get of carbon dioxide and how many of them become water? Um, <laughs> no, not sure. It's, it's not just like these the students that don't know, it's every biochemistry student. Cool. Nobody seems to know precisely where the mass goes. All animals store excess food as fat, and this stuff is pure beef fat. In the old days, people made candles from this stuff. It's a centuries old recipe, and believe it or not, these ancient candles are remarkably similar to human fat from a molecular perspective. So there you go, a candle made from animal fat. Let's burn it. This is the amazing part. Here we can actually see the fat burning up. It's losing weight. The molecules that used to be the candle aren't the candle anymore. But because the weight of those molecules has turned into invisible vapours, we don't give them another thought. Out of sight, out of mind. So, we've turned 200 grams of animal fat into carbon dioxide and water. And if you think that carbon dioxide doesn't have mass, 
you're wrong. And here's proof. This is pure carbon dioxide in its frozen form. It's called dry ice. And this piece weighs 38 grams. And look, it even sinks in water. So there you have it, carbon dioxide and water. This is what fat becomes. But how much carbon dioxide and how much water do you get when you lose weight? Back in the lab, it's time for me to answer my big fat question. So Andrew, here's something I've prepared and in this form, all of that amazing biochemistry that you showed us here is represented by this one little arrow. So we've got our fat molecule here and you inhale these 78 oxygen molecules so that you convert all of that to 55 carbon dioxide molecules and 52 water molecules. But if you trace the mass in that original molecule through, so if you start with 10 kilograms of fat, then what you end up with here is 8.4 kilograms of carbon dioxide and 1.6 kilograms of water. So you're essentially breathing out most of the fat when you lose weight, which I just find that amazing. It is a neat way to remind us about the conservation of mass. We've got 10 kilograms, you'll end up with 10 kilograms. I think it's a very useful and fresh perspective to think about weight loss. So there you go. If you want to lose weight, eat less, move more, and you'll literally turn fat into thin air.